Hey guys, it's time for a little bonus section on changing the oil. Now personally, I've really never changed the oil on my car ever in my life. I wouldn't know the difference between a drain pan and a bed pan if it weren't for my good friend, Rocky Stout. Rocky? Hey, how's it going? Good. Rocky is the lead mechanic and manager of Love Auto and he spent the majority of his life around automobiles and engines. Rocky, how did you get your start in this business? I started a discount tire when I was 16 years old in 1996. Wow. So how many oil changes would you say you've done in your lifetime? Uh, now it's probably about 100. Uh, I didn't change my own oil much like yourself until I was like 34. Wow, 100 times. So that's like peeing in the dark. You don't even have to think about it at this stage, do you? No, no, not at all. Well, for someone like me, I was wondering, could you actually explain how to do it in like 60 seconds or less? That's the oil change, not the peeing. Sure, sure, absolutely. It takes about 20 minutes uh, to do, but uh, yeah, let's go do it. Let's go for it. For most of us that, uh, that don't have a shop, we'll want to spread either a plastic sheet or, or maybe get a piece of cardboard on the ground uh, so we don't get oil everywhere and uh, make the wife unhappy. Hey, it's always a good idea to check the level of oil before you get started. To get the oil flowing without lugging, I would recommend removing the oil fill cap before you start. Next, we want to jack up the car and, and utilize some, some jack stands and uh, put something behind the rear wheels so that the, the, the car doesn't slide. What I like to do is get everything together before I start. Here's what you're going to need. Rags, safety glasses, wrenches, oil filter wrench, funnel, drain pan, new engine oil, new oil filter. This style utilizes a gasket and a container for the used oil. And before you slide out of the car, smear some new oil on the oil filter gasket. Remove the drain plug and get the old oil flowing. Remove the old oil filter. Install the new oil filter. Tighten the oil filter and wipe any excess oil off. Reinstall the drain plug and tighten it. And wipe any drips. Now it's time to fill her up with oil. Start the car and let it idle for 15 seconds and check for leaks. You'll also check the oil level and make sure that it's proper. And at that point, you're good to go. Wow, you did it. Now how about answering a couple frequently asked questions? So what should I do with the old oil? Do I dump it in the backyard, pour it down the drain? No, your neighbor's backyard. No, no, no. Of course you want to take it to, uh, to any, any uh, auto parts store and they'll recycle it for you for free. And what kind of oil should I use? I mean, do I use synthetic oil, regular oil, WD-40? I don't know what these all mean. <laughs> well, definitely not WD-40. You just want to consult your vehicle's owner manual. Is there anything else I should do every time I get my oil changed? It'd be a good idea to check your fluids, check your tire pressures, and also fill it up with washer fluid. So Rocky, as a first-time oil changer, what helpful tips can you give me that most people may not even know about when it comes to changing oil? Sure. Well, first off, if the car's been running for a while, you want to make sure it cools down so you don't get burned by the oil. Next, you would never want to work on a car that's supported just by a jack. Always use jack stands. And last, always get all of your tools, including the new oil and filter, all ready before you start the job. If you do those three things, you'll be in great shape. Wow, you've covered a lot of stuff today, Rocky. Hey, what do you say we try tackling a uh, new transmission? <laughs> You're right. Why don't I grab you another glass of iced tea? Hey, we're out of time. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. And then we'll see you next week for another installment of Manly Moments.